Not far from San Antonio's famous downtown Riverwalk, in a medical clinic at the sprawling Fort Sam Houston. Come on, come on. A 20-year-old Army corporal from Northern California struggles to put his broken body back together. Yeah. Brandon Walden suffered crippling wounds four months ago at the hands of an Allied soldier he thought was on his side. After high school, Brandon followed his older brother's footsteps and joined the Army with an eye on the infantry and combat in Afghanistan. I wanted to be hardcore, you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to prove something. During his eight months in Afghanistan, Brandon went out on more than 200 patrols. Walden. Making contact with the enemy at least 100 times. All the while forging a bond with Afghan National Army troops who will take over the fight when U.S. combat forces finally leave, perhaps by the end of 2014. We got in there and we got to know them well and you good, you good. I'm like, yeah, you good. And we're like, you know, thumbs up. Brandon's tour was coming to an end in early July. He was in the rear, relaxed and unarmed a position of relative safety just two days before leaving Afghanistan. And that's when an Afghan National Army soldier, a man he recognized, walked into camp with a squad automatic weapon known as a saw. So he walks in with a gun and I look straight at him, I look him dead in the face like, like I'm looking at you, like, what's up? He walks in the gate with a saw, the M249 saw, and uh, 200 rounds in his 200 round drum, just starts shooting. Um, everything, he's just shooting, he yells out, he yelled out something and just started unloading his weapon and I got shot in the hip and I just fell instantly. The rogue Afghan altogether shot five U.S. soldiers. We see this guy walking, walking around the truck to come and finish us off and I was just praying. I was like, God, I need to get home to my family. Brandon, a deeply religious young man, believes his prayer was answered because just then the attack stopped as suddenly as it had begun. The guy actually, when he was walking around the truck, ended up dropping his weapon. He didn't shoot all of his ammo, but he dropped his weapon and walked away. Remarkably, all five soldiers survived. But Brandon's mother will never forget the phone call that came at 1.17 in the afternoon on the day of the shooting. My first question was, is my son alive? When I heard, when, I, when the, the captain who called identified himself, I said, okay, is my son alive? And he said, yes, he's alive, but he's been shot. I uh, see it. Brandon suffered four gunshot wounds. In the chin. It was a pretty big deal in the hospital. In the calf. Traveled around the bone and the muscle. In the ankle hit the boot, came out the other side of the boot, shot in the head. And now for the worst of the four gunshots, the bullet to Brandon's left hip. It went in at a downward angle. The bullet shattered his femur and came back up to tear apart several internal organs. And right now I, I go to the bathroom number two in the, in the bag right here in my colostomy bag. All righty. And now you can see why Brandon's rehab at the Brook Army Medical Center is such an enormous undertaking. There's pain, but you got to push through it. And he's not doing this alone. During our visit, four of Brandon's five brothers and sisters were in Texas to accompany him on his various appointments. You know, having them engage and help, it's important. And they feel like they're a part of. Brandon's been told his recovery could take two years, so the whole family is moving here to San Antonio so they can be together until he can go home. Donations from people back home in Nevada County have paid for things like the family's rental car. A nonprofit called Operation Homefront has provided an apartment until early next year, when Brandon's mother will look for more permanent housing and a job. The support has been amazing. What's more amazing is that even though this young man will never fully recover and his days in the Army will end with a medical discharge, Brandon says if he could, he would sign up again. Don't regret it, you know, because, you know, you're serving your country. It's a big thing. In San Antonio, George Warren, News 10.